congratulations on Boy State, you guys. It's an eye-opening look at democracy, and it's as nail-biting and exciting as any election season. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So take us from the very beginning. How did you guys uh, know that Amanda and Jess are documenting that uh, season that you guys are participating in? Um, I knew nothing. You know, from the first speech in the film that you saw me give, that was the first time the film uh, makers met me. Um, so it was wow. pretty electrifying to know that in that moment, I inspired a whole project to, in, you know, to shift around to include me. Yeah, that is amazing. So um, for our viewers, please describe um, your sort of uh, quote unquote and characters in the film. Let's begin with Mr. Robert, the, the, the intriguing patriot, if you may. <laughs> So I was I was running for governor against Stephen. Oh, so I I went in um, ready to play it like a game, expecting a very a very red room, and throughout the process, throughout meeting Stephen, running against him, talking to people, I came I came away with the conclusion that that most of us were actually somewhere near the middle, and that we wanted the same things. We wanted what was best for our state and for our nation, and that through talking about it, through those civil conversations. We could often come to much more satisfactory conclusions than could be reached through through playing politics, through through playing the parties. That's right. What about Mr. Ben, um, who loves life, right? I uh, yeah, my name is Ben. I was elected to be the Federalist State Party chair, and when you watch this, you're going to see me on a mission to win. Uh, <laughs> kind of no holds barred. Like yeah, you put me in there to do a job, and you know we're going to do it. That's right. And then we have Renee, the eloquent orator. Oh, I like that. <laughs> um, I was the counterpart to Ben. I was the state party chair for the other party. And you're going to see um, how that plays out and interact uh, between the two of us. Oh, and then we have Mr. Stephen, the child of immigrants. Um, and really, between you and I, I will vote you as the president. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I suck at that one. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so in the film, I'm, I'm running for governor, trying to ride a wave of uh, a, a coalition of diverse people uh, from different parts of the political spectrum. And halfway through the film, uh, a position of mine comes out that's not very popular at the program. And so I have to deal with the fallout from that and how to run a, a clean campaign when there's a, a dirty campaign being run against me, how to try to stay positive, how to not attack my opponent. Uh, and how to deal with this campaign crisis that I'm facing. Um, without revealing too much, though, um, it's been two years since since the event was uh, that happened, right? Um, knowing what you know now, what would have you guys done differently, or would you do anything differently? Let's begin with you, Stephen. Yeah, uh, looking. If I had to do it all over again, uh, I'm not sure if I would run for governor. I think that I would run for uh, the Senate or the House. I really wish I could have been on the floor there debating bills and, and, and debating the merits of a certain piece of legislation, drafting legislation, uh, maybe even have run for a position within the House, such as Speaker of the House or something. I definitely would have loved to be able to do that. That was my plan. If I, if I didn't go for governor, I probably would have, won, would have gone for that. Uh, what about you, Renee? I'm kind of in the same boat. I actually ran for the Senate in the House and ended up losing. Um, and that's kind of got me started on my journey. Um, and I'm very thankful for that. Initially, I think I might have tried uh, maybe a little bit more dirty tricks. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, now, look, now, now I, you know, my morals are different. I would never do that. But uh, I think it would be a little bit more fun to see what would happen. Uh, what about you, Ben? Um, I think pressing for governor would have been really interesting. You know, I came in and you'll see it very early on that I genuinely just did not understand like what I was getting into on it. And I switched course really quick and I made it work and I'm, you know, I'm proud of it, but I think it would have been interesting to see the other side of it. Yeah. You guys have interesting character arcs, even you, Robert, right? I mean, you think that you're one way but then you really kind of know what happened to you what you're really thinking um would you have done anything differently as well so the one thing i would have done differently is that i i wish i had had more faith in people more faith in in my peers going in so i think i would have done a fair amount better if i had i had been honest with more honest with them more honest with myself during during my campaign i think it would have actually worked a lot better yeah now what 
what's your biggest takeaway from the whole experience? Let's begin with you, um, Mr. Robert, while you're already there. Like I said before, my, my biggest takeaway was was actually it was more about people than it, than it was about politics. It was that most of us are, are intelligent people who, who want what's best for our nation and state and believe that, that we're doing what is right to get there. Yeah. And, and that through, through having those tough conversations, people across the aisle, you can reach those satisfactory conclusions. And also that, that people across the aisle aren't the enemy. They're, yeah. they're not to be hated or, or, as, or as Ben says, you know, hated or, or destroyed or, or beaten down. It, it's not, they aren't the enemy. You're, you were all working towards the same goal of making your country a better place. Do you all agree with Robert? Totally. And as the, as the guy who, not to give too much away, but indulged in that, you know, and to, to, you know, wage his campaign, like I've done a lot of reflecting since and the greatest blessing of this documentary for me has been the opportunity to look at my actions in a mirror and say, I'm really proud of this. I did this really well, but you know, maybe this wasn't the move, you know, this was destructive or this was derogatory or, you know, this just isn't how our democracy should run. You know, democracy is ours to keep. That's right. I, I, I want to tell you guys that we can learn a lot from you. You're able to accomplish your goals in one week compared to your adult counterparts or adult politicians who can do it in decades, you know? Well, thank you so much again, you guys, and good luck on everything, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.